What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are going to be talking about accessorizing. How accessories could easily elevate and bring your outfit to the whole other level, more specifically jewelry. I'm gonna be going through three different styles of jewelry that I personally participate in and also utilize for like styling. If you guys don't know, I do personal styling for some of my clients, wardrobe styling, etc., etc. And jewelry is one of the things that I easily utilize to elevate an outfit, really bring it to that next level and one of the companies that I tend to use for jewelry is Vitaly. So they were kind enough to sponsor today's video and then they sent me a whole bunch of jewelry that I'm gonna be going through as the first portion of jewelry to showcase to you guys. This is by far one of the most affordable and edgy jewelry brands that I tend to see. Uh, I tend to use it for a lot of my clients when styling just because it really brings it to this whole other caliber, very like cyber-esque, cutting edge type of thing. So I'm gonna go through a couple of the offerings that they sent over. So this is the first one, packaging real quick, very fire. Slip that out, bada bing, open that up, toss that. So this chain right here, crazy, crazy little box style link, very reminiscent of like an Hermes link. Really, really cool. I enjoy this one a whole lot. Kind of gives you, kind of gives you like a futuristic look. I personally like this a lot. I used this in a shoot that I did recently with Skyfall, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. So really, really enjoy this one. Boom. This one is like the big brother of the last, a lot chunkier, but still that same like blocky link. As you guys could see what I'm going for with this style. Really, really, really dope. I think it's just very luxe, but still very futuristic. Kind of takes that darker aesthetic and adds some like sheen, uh, a little pop of, pop of something unique. So yeah. This is something that is super different from what I would normally go for, but it's like a little ear joint. So you'd like put this over your, oh, over your ear. I haven't been able to mess around with it too much. I feel like, I feel like Megs would know how to use it a bit better than I would, but that seems to be the way. But yeah, this is really, really cool. It just kind of adds more of like a costumey type of vibe. Also really good for like styling if you're a stylist. Stuff like this, little minute details, like an ear, like an ear ring or an ear, what would you even call that? Glass clamp? whatever you want to call it, ear accessory. Try it out. Next one. Pew. Boom, bow, ding. So this one is a bracelet. Really, really dope. Like this one, if you guys are wondering, yes, I have a tiny wrist. That's why this looks so small, but very nice sheen. Very like, um, almost like superhero-esque. Kind of gives you like X-Men vibes. Pretty cool. Ben 10, Ben 10 type beat. So yeah, this is really, really cool. I like this one. Last two. This is a set of like three stacked rings. So I'll show you guys what that looks like quick. Ah, oh, that's pretty dope. So they all kind of fit no matter where you put them, but it's like, it's it looks like one ring, but it's three different pieces. It kind of just warps together. So that's really, really sick. I like that. It's kind of like, um, like drop-like, almost like a liquid metal type of vibe. So yeah, I really like this one. This is cool. I'll keep this on for now. And then last one. This one's more of like the hardcore type vibe. <laughs> this is like a spiky joint. I don't know if you guys remember like how popular these type of bracelets used to be in like a couple years ago, but I do think it's something that's cool to just add, make it a bit more like character. Like if you're doing that type of outfit building, this could be something that's interesting for you. So definitely try it out. So they were kind enough to give me a discount code. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Gosswage 15 will get you 15% off of your order. And if you guys are interested, they will be doing a giveaway. Check the link in the description box below and you have the opportunity to win a $250 gift card to their store. So definitely go, go in the description box below, check it out, take advantage of free money to something that is so sick and could easily elevate any of your outfit. Um, I definitely love everything that they do and I think you guys will as well. And now time to get into an outfit that would pair with this style of jewelry. So with this style of jewelry, I would tend to go with something that's a bit more futuristic, something that it leans on the line of like a cyber dark type of fashion. That's where I feel like this type of jewelry thrives the most. And this is more of the caliber of like, just like more character-like fit pick building. Uh, I broke it down to like three different parts. There's gonna be like this style of fashion. Then there's gonna be more of like the chic uh, toned down approach, more like elegant gold jewelry. And then the last one is more of like my everyday running around, very easy, casual type of vibe. So kind of covers everything across the board, very like out and loud and intrusive. And then the third, the second one's more like elegant, that type of vibe and the last one's more just everyday casual so 
Hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna show you guys the first outfit. So for the first outfit, I decided to go with an all Rick Owens look. Everything just does fit the character of what I was talking about with this whole like futuristic, cyber, dark fashion. Everything is wax denim, so it kind of fits that build. Every time I wear this, I just feel like um, some type of like anime or superhero character. It's just very, very standout-ish. You get a lot of eyes when you're wearing something like this just because it's kind of like gothic. It, it's just, it touches a lot of bases that have a lot of head spinning. And even though the items themselves are pretty simple, the jewelry is what really takes it to the next category because um, that's where the little like glitz and glam get to peek through. Um, so yeah, all the pieces that I decide to use for this easily showcase that and that's what I like the most about access accessorizing. It really just takes something that is, yes, it's on the line of like eye grabbing and, and very like daring, but the jewelry just like sets it over the top and really makes it complete. Uh, and without it, it would just be like something was missing so that's what i really like about this outfit and moving on to the next i'll show you guys what i would be utilizing for something a bit more on the chic side more like damate you know so for this next one the jewelry that i would be utilizing is similar to what i'd be wearing right now this is very calm uh think like 90s fashion crew necks gray gray crew necks larry david type beat steve jobs type beat that's what i'd be wearing so that's where the gold jewelry tends to come in i'm normally a silver jewelry wearer but i have rekindled my love for gold jewelry because I recently got a whole bunch of stuff for from some companies that I really really enjoy so I will be linking these down below um if you guys are interested in any like dainty necklaces um but yeah definitely go check those out if you're interested I got this one with like Meg's initials engraved on it uh just more simple and then the last one it just has like a little diamond detail on there so really enjoy that this one got this little like green stone in the middle very simple and plain kind of like wedding band style and then this one is from the grandma got diamonds in the middle and then it's just a bit more like bold but yeah and I'd be able to like wear this with like absolutely anything and it's kind of like very like classy tasteful you could wear this more like like a night out to dinner or like that type of vibe if you want to even like suit it up get into some tailoring you can easily do something like that so I'm gonna show you guys an outfit where I would wear something like this and you guys let me know what you think about it gonna get into that right now so this outfit is so sick because it's just like very like tailored you look so like innocent when you wear stuff like this and like approachable um so it's kind of like completely opposite from the last character but all of them are super valid and like hit very different styles of fashion so that's why i really enjoy just building outfits in general love doing videos like this show you guys kind of like my range in fashion and what i'd be able to piece together with the wardrobe that i have accessible so this one sorry that was getting in the way. But um, uh, this one features like a lot of tailoring, like I said. So the trousers are Jill Sander. The coat is by Anderson Bell. And then under, uh, I was toying between like doing a little crew neck or just like a vintage tee. And then on the bottom, we're doing the jound Asics. Uh, just very like calm, relaxed. You could wear this out or you could wear this all day. It's kind of just like a universally approachable outfit and no one would really look twice at it. But if you were to look twice at it, you'd be like damn that guy's kind of well dressed um even though it's very simple so that's what i really like about it um just kind of universally across the board it's very acceptable so that's why i really enjoy it yet it has really contemporary silhouettes a lot of like oversized nature wider pants uh dramatically oversized overcoat um and like some chunkier like dad like dad-esque sneakers but this over the test of time like whether you looked at this outfit in the 90s all the way to like if you're looking at it modern day it just kind of like encompasses a very streamlined sense of fashion so let me know what you think about this one we're gonna go on to the next for the next set of jewelry i'm gonna be talking about is just kind of like my everyday set i literally wear this like i want to say five time uh, five days out of the week span uh, i just wear this same set which is like all by chrome hearts this is like literally the set you guys will probably see me wear the most often if uh you see me wearing jewelry uh, that doesn't take away from any other jewelry that i do wear it's just like if i'm trying to keep it simple and playing i'm probably like wearing two out of these three um just because wearing all three is a little bit more daring than i'd like it to be uh i've toned down my jewelry a whole lot i used to wear like four chains at a time um like a whole lot of like bells and whistles but i really realized that with everyday fashion you don't need to be doing too too much uh, unless you're like really trying to like get a fit off or like um you're an artist and you're trying to like propel a certain type of image or if you're like going to a certain type of event that's where you want to go all the way off um but when you're doing everyday 
everyday attire. Kind of cool to just keep it to like two to three pieces of jewelry and you're gonna be doing just fine, you know what I mean? So uh, that's why I stick to these for the most part. Uh, this is just this cemetery ring, cemetery ring by Chrome Hearts. This is the pave cross and this is the dagger ring pave as well, all diamonds. But yeah, you don't necessarily need that. It's really up to personal preference, but yeah, tend to wear these all the time and the outfit that I'd be wearing with this would be this. <laughs> so the next outfit that I would wear with the jewelry I just showed is something that I literally like I feel so comfortable in, which is just like all kind of like uh, Americana type of vibe, like not specifically Americana, but just like vintage in general. I tend to gravitate all the way back to my vintage so many times out of 10. Um, it's just really, really beautiful. I feel like the patina that it grows over time is just unparalleled to anything else in my wardrobe. Uh, I always will keep vintage in my wardrobe just because it's like, it stands the test of time and it's just so beautiful. I love it. I love vintage so, so much. And and this outfit definitely shows that. So the whole outfit pretty much is vintage besides the boots, which is gonna be the Saint Laurent Wyatt's. Uh, the Saint Laurent Wyatt's are like a classic shoe. I know they had a really big boom early in like the Eddie's Le Mans type of era, but like I like to bring it back to its roots, which is like true to that like 70s style of aesthetic. Uh, I love a good flare and like a pointed boot or any type of like heeled boot really does complement uh, a nice flare or wide pant. So that's why I decided to pair it with these Levi's I believe they're called the 646 model, but don't quote me. Uh, they kind of like rose in popularity a lot recently, but they're just kind of hard to find like a really, really good model with a, a fair price at the same time. But with these, I got really lucky and I got them from my boy Alex over at Old Clothes Are Cool a long time ago. Got them repaired myself. Uh, they look beautiful, literally like comparable to anything that like Capital or Visma makes, but just like, like original, you know what I mean? So uh, very bespoke to me. Everyone always compliments me on these jeans and I wear them a ton so that's what those are and then moving up to the upper i believe i i was toying between like either like a vintage tee or like yeah some type of vintage tee you guys know me very classic very staple and on top of that i did this wrangler suede jacket that i got when i was out in philly really enjoyed that piece when i bought it it was kind of like in the springtime i want to say so i was kind of like skeptical in buying it just because it's more of like a fall winter piece and it was hard to see that far ahead but when i bought it i knew it was something that i'm going to keep in my work for quite some time. Any type of like shirling s jacket with this type of quality for that type of price, I think it was like 60 bucks, is like insane. Like it's all suede. If this was like Saint Laurent, for example, like similar to my boots, almost like matches identical with the suede, by the way. But if this was Saint Laurent, it would probably be like $5,000. So it just makes it look super luxe, uh, even though it's kind of like thrashed and like edgy with like the discrepancies in the pieces, but it makes it so much more interesting that way. And the accessories just like take it to that whole other their completed nature. So really excited with that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it gonna be closing that my bad really enjoyed putting these outfits together for you guys let me know which one was your favorite and also what type of jewelry you guys tend to gravitate towards always really love hearing your guys's feedback and what you guys are feeling what you guys are dressing like what type of accessories you guys are feeling and um what you what you take away from these videos stylistically you know what i mean it's like i like having that conversation and really like building on what you guys enjoy out of fashion that's kind of what this channel is supposed to be for just kind of like developing that community finding that sense of fashion within yourselves and like really honing in on like what style could do in order to like propel you where you want it to be you know what i mean so hopefully you guys enjoyed those three fits let me once again let me know which one out of the three you enjoyed the most and also huge shout out to the homies over at vitali for sponsoring today's video make sure to go take advantage of the giveaway that i mentioned earlier and then also the discount code all that will be linked in the description box below and yeah make sure to go follow the boy on all of his socials g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that that's what you check out on there that's over on the and all the other social media platforms that I have will be listed down in the description box below. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace.